How's it going, you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Today, I'm gonna to test out two different expandable foams, one by Sika and the other by Fast2K, to see can these actually replace putting concrete into our holes to set four by four or even six by six posts. Now, overall, the idea is amazing, right? These little two pound bags, if those can replace two 50 pound bags of concrete, that can save us a ton of time and effort, but will they hold up? How much do they actually expand? And is one better than the other? That's what we're gonna test out today. So let's jump into it. So each of these holes is dug side by side in a combination of post hole digger and the bar itself. Having that bar actually helps a lot to break up the material. So then you're just lifting out the loose material in the hole. The depth, I'm going right below my frost line, which is 34 inches deep, and the diameter set at 10 inches, which matches up well to a four x four poach, which is actually three and a half inches wide. So you wanna go three times that width to get a correctly sized hole for your post. And do be careful because I made this mistake a lot in the past. Actually, what will happen is you'll start digging your hole and the width at the top will be your 10 inches. So that would be 10 inches in my case. But as you go down the depth, remember mine was 34 to 36 inches, you'll actually taper it in. You do not want to do that. What that ends up doing is what you, once you set your post in there, we have our post, and then if you're using concrete or this expandable foam, that would fill in the voids here. And now you've made a plug. So what happens, especially if you're in areas like where I'm at, when we get freezing, you might have some upward force or heaving, and now you have a plug that wants to pop out of the ground. So be careful not to do that. Obviously a best, better option would be to make sure those walls are perfectly straight. So you have 10 inches at the bottom that matches your 10 inches at the top. But if you wanna go even one step further, Take your hole at 10 inches at the top and just bell it slightly out at the bottom. So you go down and then you'll bell slightly at the bottom. So maybe the bottom ends up being 11 inches or 12 inches and then you have your 10 inches at the top. This is not hard to do. I just take my bar and then I will scrape the bottom so that we will bell out and be a little larger at the bottom. And that's so much better because now we have a little bit wider at the bottom. So as maybe we get some frost, we get some force at the bottom to lift this up to work your mailbox or your fence post out of the ground, you would have to actually push the concrete or the expandable foam through the earth because your bottom is wider and it's naturally gonna resist going up. So just a little best practice for you. I inherently used to do these little plugs and that's just not gonna equal a long lasting post. So with those holes dug and the little bell at the bottom, now we'll go ahead and center up our post in the middle of the hole and then also use that post bubble level to plumb it up in both directions. Just using a combination of three foot long stakes here and a few screws to get everything set and secure so we can pour in the expandable foam. So we'll start off with the fast 2K and you just break off that spline there and now the two parts are mixing. So you can kind of work it over a board or over your leg like this only for about 15 seconds and make sure you don't have the bag sitting in the sun. You don't want it hot or it sets up even faster. Cut off the corner or the complete top and then try to distribute it evenly and then work the rest of the material out of the bag to get it all placed in the hole and let it expand. Now the Sika, very similar, but there's a seal in the middle you break and then the two parts mix and you work them back and forth again for about 15 seconds and you wanna keep the product fairly cool under 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut the corner off, pour it out, getting all the material out of the bag. So it's been over an hour and both of these products are ready to go. After 30 minutes, they say you can go and do your fence or whatever project you're doing. Overall, the Sika filled the hole quite a bit more. It is about seven inches from the top, so not quite as good as I wanted it to. And there is a little flex, but depending on what project you're doing, this might work. But if you're hanging a gate from this or it's a corner post, uh, I'm not feeling good about this. And just saying right away, you are not going to replace the strength of two, let's say, fast setting quickcrete bags that are pre-mixed and then you place in the hole. This is not going to replace that level of strength. But the Sika actually did better than the Fast 2K. The Fast 2K actually is about 17 inches from the top. 
So depending on whether you read the bag, it says it just replaces one 50 pound bag of concrete, but then online you see it replaces two 50 pound bags of concrete. So there seems to be some confusion. Also the Fast 2K came with a piece of paper that indicated for an eight inch hole, it could do two feet in depth. But then on the bag, it says for an eight inch hole, it can do three feet of depth. So some confusion going on there. And something tells me they're figuring that it does not expand quite to what they originally marketed. Additionally, one kicker of the Fast 2K, and you can see it as I was taking some video of the foam expanding, right at the end, some foam kind of got caught on one side and then pushed the 4x4 post completely out of plumb. So now with it all set up, I am way out of plumb compared to where I set this post with the two stakes and I actually saw it move in that video. Now for another demonstration just on the difference in terms of the volume, both of those bags are about the same weight, but on the right hand side is the Sika and on the left hand side is your Fast 2K. So you can see the Sika is about 30% or more in volume. But what I'm gonna do, let me cut these two open so we can see how many air pockets does the Sika have compared to the Fast 2K. So if we look side by side, again, here's the Sika, the larger one, and here's the Fast 2K. Both of them are gonna have large air pockets on the bottom, and at least we're not seeing large air pockets on either of these in the middle. The Fast 2K has a little bit more rigidity than the Sika. I can easily put a thumb imprint on this one. So I would say the Fast 2K does have a bit of an advantage on strength that might be able to hold a post more, but again, the volume is quite a bit different. So let me know what you guys think. And if you have your own experience with the Sika or Fast 2K, let me know down in the comments. There's always great information. And I appreciate your guys' feedback. Overall, honestly, I cannot recommend either one of these products. I was disappointed in the Fast 2K and I had a little bit higher hopes than the Sika, but both of those don't do the job, especially compared to mixing up two 50 pound bags in a wheelbarrow and then placing that into the hole. That's gonna be your best bet. Even the dry pouring and pouring water on top is not gonna be as good as mixing it up and then placing that concrete in the hole. Now, if you wanna see an additional tip on how to keep your four by four posts from rotting at the ground, check out this video right here and I'll show you a way to extend the life of your 4x4 posts. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.